I'm back from Wingstop and I got a little, a little snack. I'm so excited, oh my God. So today's video is gonna be a reaction to a very particular woman, this lady. And she knows what ladies are because she knows what she knows what ladies is. Listen, this type knows ladies. But I also know what a liar is. And someone that spreads misinformation about Mua. Hi Candace. This person thought it would be cute to grab her camera and her microphone sticks and spread lies on my name, on my dime, on my dime. Listen here, lady. I, I watched the video and I was just PO'd. And I'm gonna respond to you and we're, we're gonna watch, it's not that long and we're gonna do it together. So I got a little snack because my blood sugar's gonna be down. Click the link below and get yourself a cameo where I'll make a special video just for you. Treat yourself or surprise someone else. It makes a great gift. Link below. Now you guys already watched me do lunch on my Patreon. And you always saw breakfast on my thir uh, fifth channel. Subscribe to this channel too. I have lots of channels. Oh my gosh. And this is my first time having <gasps> the chicken sandwich. Mm. Oh, and we have to, I'm going to use gloves because this woman likes to cover up. So I'm going to cover my fingers so that she's not offended. Because they currently have Takis dust all up in them. This is my first time. Oh my God. Can you guys believe I've never had, I know. Mm-hmm. So, yes, I'm very upset. Never thought I'd see the day where, I've, where I'm somehow important enough to make videos about. But, you know, this is YouTube. Everyone's been using me for the, since the beginning of time. I'm someone that you can just use and make fun of and this and that. But what I don't appreciate is lies. Spreading lies. Of all people, too. You think this lady would know better. She's always going after everyone else for slipping up. Jeepers. Creepers. Ah, they don't sticks. Now this better be enough. This is actually not that much food. This is actually not that much. I ordered boned. Those are boned. Great, I'm calling quick break. I'm actually gonna sue for emotional distress. Where's my corn? Orlin, get in here now. Yeah. Get in here now. Nick, edit this out. What's wrong? What? This is not enough food. Okay, we have tenders. I, I ordered bone and wings. They gave me boneless. I ordered five pieces of corn. And I ordered three sandwiches. There's only one. Why don't you waddle to get it? I sent you there. That's your job. No, why don't you do it yourself? Why can't you do it yourself? Why can't you do it yourself? Why are you so you? Why are you so entitled? Job. You are so entitled. What do you mean I'm entitled? I paid for it, so yes, I'm entitled to receive what I paid You're for. You're lazy. How am I lazy? Because you don't do anything on your own. I'm, I'm eating. eating. You fatter. I'm eating. Clearly. And you're getting fatter, too. No, I'm not. You're <laughs> Shh. Oh. So, great. I'm going to starve. And it's your fault. That's because good. I sent... You might actually be able to not miss the toilet when you go to take a number one. And you can't see it because of your fupa. Shh. I don't have a fupa. Yeah, you do. Orland, stop. Get out of here. I'm... You're not getting your, your check this month. No, like I ever got it before. Yeah, you did. Oh, don't lie to the people. Don't lie to the people. Also, how many ranches do I have? One, two, three, four. Too many. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's too many. That's not to clog your arteries. Cheapers, creepers. More than they already are. I'm actually... I mean, there's supposed to be so much more food. This is not enough food. This is enough for two people. This is for a family. This is not that much food. This is like enough for a family. And it's all your fault, actually. Spaghetti. Oh! Well, this is greasy. Okay, see, this is what I like to do. I, like, I take it off, and I pour that grease in there. Get in there. 
I want the extra grease, please. Thank you. Perfect for my arteries. Okay, so um, anyways, we have to react to this liar. Spreading lies all about, that's, that's the lemon pepper one. <gasps> mm. I decided not to get the sauce ones because they're dry, just like the actual wings. I'm like, no, let me just actually do. Oh wait, we have to put her here. So put these out the way. Jesus. Oh, look at, oh, watch. See it dripping? Ooh. Uh-huh, yeah, let's get all that grease in there. Ooh, ooh, oh my God. Ah! Can you believe this lady? Cheers. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Okay, so, hi Candace, Candace Owens. She, was, she owns lots of stuff. Spreading rumors on her page about me and my identity. Now, I actually look very nice today. I look extra skinny because that's how I identify, maybe. And you might not want to acknowledge my identity, but it doesn't mean that I don't identify in the way that I choose. I choose to identify as skinny. I identify as skinny and you're committing acts of violence by not recognizing my identity. And this is a medical mystery as to, it's mostly water. It's just water weight. And I eat all the food pyramids and all the food groups. And just because I might be a little fluffy doesn't give you the right to spread misinformation on your page and disinformation. Oh, you're just jealous because I'm an American. And as Americans, we have money. And with a lot of money, you can buy a lot of stuff. I like to buy cheese. Let's go down the food pyramid list. Cheese, potatoes, more cheese for extra proteins. Thanks, Michelle Obama. Did you know, Candace? Michelle Obama says pizza is a vegetable. Okay. And I have lots of vegetables by Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama. Obama, 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 this is America, USA, 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 cheapers, creepers, Candace Owens, I love my country, it's so great, but people like her are tearing it down by not allowing people to identify as skinny if they choose. I identify as skinny. Look, this is what I look like going to the grocery store. Identifying as skinny. Like March of the Penguins. Get away! Yeah. Stop!
This is for you, lady. Make sure you, 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 you protect your hands and you cover up. You don't want to disturb the peace. Covering up for this lady. Lady. Gluttonous YouTuber is literally dying for clicks. I'm perfectly healthy, number one. Number two, you're using and degrading me for clicks to your channel. I've never spoken to you. I've never made content about you. I never it provoked you. And here you are writing my name for clicks to you. You're a political commentary channel. What do I have to do with your world? Nada. Is your channel suffering that much? Have you run things out of things to talk about? That you have to talk about me and my life? And I'm not dying, actually. I'm thriving. And you can't say otherwise. And I'm not gluttonous. I barely eat that much. And there's actually not that much here today. So that's the first thing. So let's just play. Actually, let me have a bite of this first. Because this is my first time. <gasps> Ooh. Mmm. 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 Popeyes is better. I'm just going to tell the truth because I'm always honest. It needs a little ranch. Oh. Mm. Mm. The fries are good. I can't believe this lady. So, mm. let's hear what she has to say about me, <clears throat> which is not nice stuff. By the way, can I also say, if you go over here and you zoom in to her tags, drama YouTuber mukbang, Chelsea Lynn mukbang, Trisha Paytas mukbang, king of mukbangs, <clears throat> mukbang Chinese person. Excuse me, Korean. Mukbang seafood. There's no seafood in this video. Gluttony. Candace Owens. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's hear what she has to say. This lady. We can hardly talk about therapy and the over-therapeutic environment that we live in without discussing social media. In previous episodes, we have discussed what women are doing for attention now. They're setting up their cameras and crying, pretending to be sick in some videos, or just opening up about a bad relationship. And is she calling me a woman? Mm. Why is a video about me prefaced by women trying to get attention? I'm not. Well, actually, you don't know. Crying for attention. I don't cry for attention. I cry because it helps others see what happens in life because the internet's for learning. And crying, it's crying for likes, not because it actually brings them any relief to cry on social media. It doesn't fix it. I feel a lot better after I cry, so speak for yourself, lady. Any other circumstances, to say the least, right? But it does give them mm. a little dopamine hit when they get attention, right? And so you're seeing this over and over again. I always talk about TikTok being the main ground for mental disorder. It really is just an online insane asylum that some people are not insane and they're on the app, but... I agree. I actually agree. There's a lot of freaky stuff going on TikTok. <clears throat> I agree. TikTok deserves to be shut down. Come on, government. Every year something comes out. We're going to be on TikTok. It's a Chinese spy. If the Chinese are spying on my TikTok, they don't deserve to be there. So hurry up. Get it banned, would ya? I actually don't like it. And there's a lot of lies on TikTok and a lot of haters. So please, ban the app. Do it! I just saw in the news some some other of uh, Josh Hickey Bicky from whatever, Arkansas, Missouri, somewhere over there. Josh Higgies. 
says, oh, it's time we just banned it for the governmental uh, uh, devices. Now it's time to ban it for the general population. Well, do it and stop running your mouth. As a whole, TikTok is for crazy people. Well, you now have individuals who are quite literally <laughs> for clicks. I'm not going to believe that this is a trend, but there are people that are feeding themselves Right? We talked yesterday about the seven cardinal sins. Well, gluttony is now taking place for clicks. I am talking in particular about people who have become famous by binge eating in front of the cameras. So me, is, that, is, this, is this about me? First of all, this is not a binge. This is a regular meal. So get your facts straight, honey. Number two. I have to eat to survive. One example is a young man named Nicholas Perry. Now, well, he's interesting because he actually arrived on the scene, did his first video on YouTube, talking about how he was a vegan his whole life, and he now disavows veganism. And in that... Okay. Candace, you, get, you, you gotta get some new writers. Because there's so many wrong things about this, I can't even... I don't even know where to start. Number one, that's not my first video. Number two, in that video, I'm not disavowing veganism. In this video, I'm eating 5,000 calories of cheese because I worked out extra hard by cleaning the staircase because we had a staircase in that apartment and I almost tripped. There's dust bunnies running all over the place. So, lies, lies, lies. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, but you're a reporter, G, who's someone that's always going after the mainstream media for not getting their facts straight. I mean, it's just like fumble, 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 fumble. X. That video, of course, he was very youthful. He was spelt, he was small. Look at him, look at this picture. If you're listening to this, he's just a, a, a rather small person. And by the way, I agree. I was starving in that video. I just recently went on a hike to the grocery store. Agree with this about veganism. I do, it is, brings you horrible effects to your health. Yes. To not eat meat. We yes. are designed, our bodies are designed to consume meat. Yes. What we are not consumed to do is to just consume What'd she just say? What we're not consumed to do? Oh, uh, fumble, fumble. What we are not consumed to do is to just consume. Okay. You need to learn how to read. Mm. Can I just say how good this is? Oh. Mm. Mm. Okay, what? Just listen to her tone, the way she comes across. So factual. I'm here to show you this horrible human being who's on this crazy act full of people in mental asylums. <clears throat> and she's not even saying truthful things. Everything under the sun and a bunch of calories for profit, right? So he began filming himself doing the exact opposite extreme. First, I'm not going to eat meat. I'm not going to eat a ton of other foods. Now I'm going to consume hefty portions of ramen or a stack of pancakes at IHOP. This was back in 2017. And today he eats in excess of 10,000 calories in front of the camera in videos that are in- Since when? I've never, except for like 12 or 13 times, eaten 10,000 calories in a sitting. And those were special, rare occasions, extra treats. I'm not even being funny. Those, were, those are rare occurrences for me to actually eat that much. There's not even 10,000 calories in front of me right here. <clears throat> and you know what? I have to eat to survive. And you don't know. You don't know my body. You don't know my blood work. You don't know my doctor. So what if I require it? What if I have a malabsorption issue <laughs> with like iron or something or zinc? Some people require more boosts of more things so that they survive. <clears throat> so shame on you. You don't know nothing about me. But you haven't even watched any of my videos. I never finish the food in my videos. Sometimes yes, but most of the times no. And I give it out into the needy and the poor when I'm done. What do you do with, when you're done your food? You throw it into the trash, most likely. I actually have been feeding the homeless for seven years with my scraps. Have some compassion. Titled, I hate myself, as one example. Uh, goodbye, YouTube and life or celebrating our 700 pound milestone. Now, of course, when- you What's wrong with those titles? It's my life, I'm sharing. Goodbye, YouTube. I took a break. I stopped filming for a couple days. Eat like that and you are this gluttonous, you kneel to- 
And so obviously, what has also happened is that he's doing this because he's getting attention, he's getting clicks, but he's also- What do you, I'm yielding to, I've yielded to, you don't know anything about me. How do you know if I have the or not? Do you just look at someone and be like, wow, you, you might eat a lot of food, so therefore you have this, 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 and this. So becoming depressed in front of the world, he's essentially killing himself on camera slowly. Ha ha, you're not allowed to say anything against the COVID vaccines. God forbid you say, I feel healthy, I don't need a vaccine. They'll kick you off of YouTube, right? But you're allowed to do this, by the way. You're allowed to consume. And you're allowed to spread misinformation too? I don't even understand. <clears throat> if people were getting booted for spreading things that weren't verified, that's YouTube's policy. Now, did you verify if I eat 10,000 calories a day? No. Did you verify if I have depression? No. Did you verify if I'm crazy? No. Did you verify anything about me? No, you didn't. 10,000 calories in front of the camera and look at him. No, I don't. In front of so much McDonald's, I can't even explain to you if you're not watching. Okay, I was swelling that day. And I was swelling real bad, and it's a disease, it's a medical mystery. Actually, doctor, scientists are still searching for the reasons. <clears throat> it's something called water weight and water retention. It's sodium. See, I know more about nutrition than you, Candace Owens. When you eat a lot of sodium, your body holds on to water. For every three, one gram of salt, your body holds on to three. No, that's carbs. <laughs> I can't remember, but it's one to two. I know lots about nutrition. And I was swelling. It's called lymphedema. Where's your compassion? You're such an incompassionate person. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. Mm. And this one's the garlic. Oh my god. Mm. Looking at this, he is just sitting in front of the camera, and in one video. I was standing. Another lie. Video you know, entitled "Nobody Likes Me, I'm Done." He is seen sobbing while shaving his hair off into a plate of eggs. I mean, uh, this is happening. It's like, this is this is what is allowed on YouTube when you weigh it against people that are taken off for wrong thing, for not towing the line, for questioning the election results. Right? You can just go ahead and commit suicide slowly. Oh. <laughs> what? That video of me shaving my head is because I needed to give my hair cut to myself because I actually have a disorder where I pass out from blades, sharp knives, and needles and veins. I can't, one time I was at church and they made an announcement for the blood drive and I passed out. Bunk, there I go on the floor and I have all these old ladies over me fanning me. Oh, poor child. One time I was clipping my toenails, I saw the vein popping out of my foot and I fell off the bed. I pass out and I pee myself too when I do it. It's a medical problem that I've had my whole life. So yes, <clears throat> I had to cut my own hair because last time I got a haircut, which was in South America, in Colombia, I passed out twice on top of a lady and she spilled her soda everywhere. And we didn't know how to explain it in Chinese to the people. So we said, oh, it's diabetes. Even though I don't have diabetes, I cured it. So, you know, like, cheese. I had to cut my own hair and those eggs had fallen onto the floor because I dropped them. So I didn't want to be wasteful and throw them in the trash. I'm not gonna eat them if they're on the floor. So that's where the hairs decided to fall. And I moisturized myself. That's none of your concern. What do you mean? YouTube allows this. Oh, sh I'm on YouTube for al allowing what? What did I do that was so wrong? Did I hurt anyone? Did I target anybody like you're doing to me? Am I, you know, diagnosing strangers on the internet for clicks while saying, oh, what they do is for clicks. What they do is for clicks. But look at me. Look at me. I'm trying to write my name and say that I'm committing s on camera. What? That's so degrading. Especially if you already have in your head that you think that I have depression and now you're gonna put out there, oh yeah, he's just gonna himself. Oh yeah, he's himself. What if I what if that really triggered me? Luckily I don't have depression. But I, I can imagine anyone else being the, on the receiving end of a video like this, and they probably would feel so bad, uh, God knows what they would do. You know, your words matter. What you say about people matters. Totally, if you want to. In another video, he filmed himself smearing Cheetos colored ramen noodles all over his face, while in others, he is seen having screaming matches with his ex-husband, his now ex-husband. 
But here's the but, because only in America, so long as you tell the line, you can make money doing whatever you want. His emotional turbulence just paid off. He's now a millionaire. He's a net worth of seven million dollars. And is according to who? Have you been in my bank account? Have you seen how much money I get? Miss Know-It-All? What do you mean I have seven? Where's this number coming from? Who put this number out of their behind? Now, for the record, a lot of the things I do get demonetized. They get the, the red flags. I get a low click-through, a low, low CPMs. Because a lot of advertisers maybe don't like what they say. Maybe it's too controversial. I accept that. I'm doing what I want to do. Seven million. Oh. If I had seven million dollars, I would A, not live in this 800 square foot apartment. B, get a real car, not this junky 2010 car. How can people get away with this? I just want to know. Like this, this is what I do. This is why I support myself. I share my life. If I make some money, great. If I don't, they get flagged. Oh well. I still show up rain or shine. I'm doing my thing in my own lane. Mind your business. And now you're spreading lies. They landed him in a $2.3 million penthouse in Las Vegas because people will pay to watch you die. That was a hotel, woman. That was a hotel room that I booked for two nights. And I split it with another YouTuber when we collabed in it. So this lady, you know what? <laughs> if this is how your content normally goes, where you just read, I know she's reading some article by some probably horrible publication. Fact check. Did anyone ask, call me up and ask me, hey, I decided that you're worth $8 million. Can I write about that? I decide, oh, you know, I saw that video of you in a hotel room. You know, you said you bought it. So <laughs> that was literally a joke. That was a joke. When I went around filming the hotel, I literally showed the hotel signs. I kept them in. I could have edited them out. I kept them in. <laughs> then I post that on April Fool's too. I mean, I've done that like five times. And New York, Hawaii, I've LA. Remember my, my $5 million apartment? In LA? It was literally a hotel room. I'm an entertainer. I'm making people laugh. I'm making clips on the internet. And you're telling the world that that's actually where I live? Why? Says who? How dark is that? How dark is that? He's, he's, he's dying slowly. Of course, he's talked about he's suffering health consequences, as you can see in that um, photo that I just showed you. He has a ventilator on. He's got a, he has this machine, which is called a BiPAP machine that is for obese people to help them breathe as they sleep. Does it? Um, uh -huh. First of all, it's not a, that was not a BiPAP, that was a CPAP. This lady doesn't even know how to tell the truth. And I don't even know if it's intentional. I think she just, anything she hears, she believes. Like, I heard it, or I read it on a blog site, so it must be true. So let me, let me make a video about it. Let me act concerned. She's not even acting concerned about me. She's just wait, sh shaking her naughty, naughty finger at me. That's literally all it is. <clears throat> She's not even trying that. You know, Candace, I actually respect that. At least you're, there's some people, there's actually a lot of people there. They'll, they'll pretend that they're so concerned. I can think of a couple people right now that have made videos about me. Like, oh, but I actually care about you. Oh, I'm so, you don't give a crap about me. They're trying to make money off of me. Make your own content. Make your own content. I'm original. I make my own content. Make your own content. Oh, no, I am your content. Because if you were to make a video about yourself, no one would watch. So thank you for, I, I, you know, I admire that about you, Miss Owens. I admire you about that. At least you're not gonna sit here and pretend and act that you give a about me. Thank you. Uh, that's, that's actually really nice. Does it matter? He's raking in millions and this is going to go on. Clearly- I'm not though. I'm not. Millions? He's likely going to- Like, if you think my content's so horrible, imagine what advertisers think. Last year I was sponsored twice for the whole year. Most YouTubers that have millions of subscribers get sponsored every other week, at least once a month. I, if he continues down this path, 
And that is not something that hasn't happened before. Of course, on TikTok, there was a star. His name was Taylor Lejeune. He went by the handle Waffler69, who gained internet fame for the exact same thing, eating also sometimes expired foods. And he died of a suspected heart attack last week. But I love how she connects the two. Like, he eats expired foods, and then he died. Like, do you think that's what caused it? Do you know? Did you even read the autopsy report? Did you wait for that to be released if the family chooses? No. You're making a video about assuming stuff. <clears throat> assuming <laughs> You know, his family is probably still grieving right now. And you're making videos saying he was this crazy person, he ate expired food, and then he <laughs> had a supposed heart attack. How about you wait for the facts before you start capitalizing off them, woman? <sighs> but before he just so you know, he posted 1.7 million followers on the Million? Like, she's acting like this is, like, everyone gets a million followers on TikTok. There's actually been, there's been a lot of wonder and suspicion. I think there's even a lawsuit pending, something where they inflate the numbers so where people feel more, they feel better posting on TikTok because it looks like they're more popular. So they keep using the app more and more and more and more. Yeah, I saw that. I saw a few different people speculating. You know, if it's true or not, it doesn't matter. But here's the thing. It doesn't matter if he has a million followers. What's your point? Platform, because the more extreme your behavior, the more followers you will get on TikTok and on YouTube. We award people for committing sins, for committing cardinal sins, like... Sins. Committing sins? Eating food? People for committing sins, for committing cardinal sins. It's not a sin to eat, lady! If God didn't want me to eat, he wouldn't have given me a stomach. He wouldn't have given me a hunger drive, you idiot. So anytime you see anyone eating, they're all sinning, huh? Gluttony, gluttonous. Yeah, that's probably back when they had nothing to eat. And so, yeah, if you had three seeds instead of two pumpkin seeds, they'd look like they think they're greedy. And those people die by the time where they're 30. Cheapers. It's not a sin to eat food, lady. I think it's more of a sin to tell lies about me as you're doing to me. It's probably more of a sin to, to manipulate people and to make money in a dirty way. Maybe that's a sin. Fooling people. Deceiving people. Lying to people. Saying that I live in a penthouse when I don't. Saying that I have seven million dollars that I don't. Saying that I try that I'm taking <laughs> that I don't. Saying that I overeat ten thousand calories per meal. Well, that I don't. Saying all this <laughs> that I have. <laughs> I've never even uh, uh, like gluttony. So there you have it, guys. This is this is the direction in which our nation is headed toward. Anything for a click, anything for a dollar. All right, guys, next portion of the show is going to be available exclusively on Daily Wire Plus. I'm going to be answering your questions. And Didn't she just say anything for a dollar? She's advertising her page now. Please come follow me and pay me $20 a month to hear me talk crap and lies about people. Reading some Reddit threads. So if you're not a member yet, go ahead and click the link in the description and subscribe right now. That's a really funny transition. For a click, anything this is the direction. Of anything for a click. This is the direction we're going. That could be applied to, this is such an ironic transition. In which our nation is headed toward anything for a click, anything for a dollar. All right, guys, next portion of the show is going to be available exclusively on Daily Wire Plus. I'm going to be answering your questions and reading some Reddit threads. So if you're not a member yet, go ahead and click the link in the description and subscribe. Ah, anything for a click and anything for a dollar. Yeah, including you. Please sign up and pay me. You should just literally call this, give me money. I mean, what? I... People like this, and the, again, more irony, is that she's so, so staunch in her ways that, that she thinks the truth needs to be revealed. You need to tell the truth. You need to do some research before you make claims. Oh, she's always going after journalists and people like, oh, do your homework. They're believing the lies. You're believing the hell. And you're spewing this to your audience of millions of people like it's fact. Like it's fucking true. Anything for a click. Anything for a view. And know what's really funny? 
Speaking of views, this video she made about me has 150,000 views in four days. Let me tell you the view count of the neighboring videos. 30K, 28K, 90K, 68K, 36K, 45K. Let's go to the prior week. 40K, 50K. 30, you me talk about this has 30K, and I got 150K. So, uh... <laughs> I, this video has only been up for a couple of days, and it already has more views than you're used to, by at least double. And it would be one thing if she was just like a reporter saying, this is interesting. There's these people that share their meals with audiences, and they make a living out of it. How neat, how cool, how different. But no, she has to make it real dark and real twisted. No. He's eating 10,000 calories a day. Okay, y'all saw me eat. I probably had maybe 1,900, maybe 2,000 at most. Not eat chicken doesn't have many calories. I mean, if I would have finished all the fries, yeah. He's killing himself. He's committing. <laughs> he lives in a multi million dollar penthouse. He's making millions of dollars a year. <laughs> As I literally live in a cheap apartment. I mean, I like it. It's fine. It's uh, except the neighbors, but I mean, it's like. Again, you think that since, since I have a lot of clicks, that means I'm getting a lot of money. That's not always the case. I know so many YouTubers. God, I wish I could show you or tell. I don't want to put people on this. That's private. People that have told me, con confided in me, or we've shared our analytics. I literally put, we'll see other YouTubers be like, look at my analytics. Um, that's what I made for the whole year. They're like, what? I thought we were making Like, they're shot. They're shot. Because they, they think, oh, you're having... Listen, it's not my choice. If I, just, if I get a lot of money or not. It's up to the advertisers if they think I'm appropriate, if they like my behavior, if they like the content, which they don't a lot of the time, most of the time. It's like, and she just, she she's so sure of herself too. And that's admirable, a lot of, a lot of confidence. Man, but could you sell a lie or what? Wow. But she's reading it from like some blog. Reading it from some blog. And you know what those blogs say? You just Google, how tall is Nikocado? Like five different sources say I'm like five foot five, five foot six. I'm six foot one, people. And every time I meet people, they're like, oh my God. So I'm like, yeah, I know. I say it in my videos, but people believe a blog spot. People... And that's the irony. She's like, we get silenced if we're questioning things. You should start questioning your own content. Question your sources, please. Ugh. And the thing is, too, I thought she was all about, like... <clears throat> Not being a snowflake and not being overly triggered. Yeah, she's very triggered and she's so worried for the world. Like, we're all triggered because this person's eating and crying. Harden up. It's entertainment. It's TV. It's people sharing their life. What are you doing? Like... ...out therapy and the over-therapeutic environment that we live in without discussing social media. In previous episodes, we have discussed what women are doing for attention now. They're setting up their cameras and crying, pretending to be sick in some videos, or just opening up about a bad relationship and crying. Just crying for likes, not because it actually brings them any relief to cry on social media. It doesn't fix any other circumstances. I like how she just knows everyone's lives. <clears throat> just like she knows mine. <laughs> Welcome to my $7 million crib, everyone. <laughs> to say the least, right? But it does give them a little dopamine hit when they get attention, right? And so you're seeing this over and over again. I always talk about TikTok being the main ground for mental disorder. It really is just an online insane asylum that some people are not insane and they're on the app. But as a whole, TikTok is for crazy people. Well, you now have individuals who are quite literally dying for clicks. You're not going to believe that this is a trend, but there are people that are feeding themselves, right? We talked yesterday about the... Mm. 
dying for clicks. <clears throat> Evan Cardinal Sins. Well, gluttony is now taking place for clicks. I am talking in particular about people who have become famous by binge eating in front of the cameras. One example is a young. Not a binge. It's never been a binge. It's always been normal portions. I mean, just look at my channels. <clears throat> I barely eat that much food. I'm barely eating that much food. Like, seriously, it's not even that much. I'm just repeating myself at this point, but. Young man named Nicholas Perry. Now, well, he's. I just feel like I have to hear it twice. I'm like. Oh. It's interesting because he actually arrived on the scene, did this his first video on YouTube talking about how he was a vegan his whole life and he disavows veganism. And in that video, of course, he was very youthful. He was spelt. He was small. Look at, him, look at this picture. Spelt. If you're listening to this, he's just a, a, a rather small person. And by the way, I agree with this about veganism. I <clears throat> we have a few things in common. That would be one of them. Yeah. But still, I'm just like, wow. <laughs> Anything for clicks. Anything for a buck. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Ooh, I should put cheese on these. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna go do it for TikTok. But yeah, I'm gonna go melt a lot of cheese on this. And it's not binging, it's just dinner number three. <laughs> and I'm gonna have it on TikTok. Actually, it, it, I hope that it gets shut down. I really do. They, they really should shut down too. Come on, senators. Use your words, use your brains, and <gasps> follow through with what you say. If you're going to keep bringing it up, you better do it. You better do it. Oh. Okay, I'm not a fan of the sandwich. Like, the, the bread is not good. It's kind of dry. The chicken's fine, but Popeye's is where it's at. Mm. Chicken is good. But I still like Popeyes more. See, I knew. See, when these came out like a year ago, people were like, Nick, why aren't you trying them? Not a year, maybe seven months ago. Yeah, I remember it was around like June and July. It was, it was right in the middle of summer. And, and people were like, why aren't you? I'm like, eh. Because I've seen people's reactions. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go find a random blog on the internet or some article written by, I don't know, a wannabe journalist. And um, I'm gonna see what they say about Miss Candace. That maybe she lives in a $50 million house and she she did this and this and this and she says this and she has this mental disorder and she she has this health condition and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make a video about it and just read it and tell everyone what's what's happening about this person. <laughs> and it could be completely wrong in so many regards. And I'm also going to say in the video that, ah, oh, all she does is make content for clicks. Wow, sh on her. And just project what I'm doing onto her. See how she feels. <sighs> I'm excited for these cheese fries. These were too spicy. I'm just feeling the acid reflux. Did I eat everything? I ate all the chicken except the spike. Well, there was, I'm like, why am I still hungry? Okay, because there wasn't that much food. We're gonna do cheese fries for TikTok. I'll see you on my YouTube shorts because TikTok's probably gonna be taken down if the senators do their jobs.
Hi, it's me. I'd like to thank all my patrons for supporting this video. If you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra, or if you just want to see the real, unfiltered side of these videos, click the link in the description box and consider joining all of us over on Patreon. You'll get to see weekly videos and a much more candid side of me. Oh, and by the way, you have to be a grown-up to follow. Patreon's really for my closest followers only, and new openings become available on a first-come, first-served basis. So if you see an opening, hurry up. If you want to hear from me personally, get yourself a video directly directly from me on Cameo, where I can surprise you with a video straight to your phone or your computer. You can also hire me to tell off your friend. If you want more, check out my merch store and get yourself a Waterweight t-shirt. Patreon, Cameo, and merch are all linked in the description box. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.